All right, so we got a bunch of new fruit trees on the property. The first thing is our figs starting to produce. This is pretty cool. This is our beer's black fig. First year having it. And these things started getting fat the other day. Pull this one over, but... Mm. Nothing better than a fresh fig. Another shot. We got another one coming here. These just swelled up though. Out of nowhere, we had some rain and all of a sudden they're all looking like this. And then a few got real fat. But we got some new fruit trees. First thing first, we actually did a video on this banana uh, tasting one. And after we tasted it, we decided we wanted to get one of these. This is the, uh, I think it's called Gros Michel. Maybe Gros Michel is how it's spelled. But it's a banana. And this is the most popular banana back in like, way back in like the 20s or 30s, something like that. Mm -hmm. That was like 50s a common, maybe even. Maybe in the 50s. This was like the common banana you get at the grocery store. And then they started getting the disease because everyone planted this variety out. The Panama disease? I think Panama or Bunching Top, I'm not sure. So this was, this one we just grabbed on a whim. This is a lemon zest mango. I've heard good things about this variety. I've never actually tasted the lemon zest, but I wanted to. It. And I got a bunch of mangoes, so we got a bunch of cool uh, flavors. And hopefully we'll have trees available in the future for like propagation and if you want to buy one yourself. So that's the lemon zest. This one's really cool. This is a rose apple. Wax jambu. Wax jambu. I think they go by a lot of different names. Um, yeah, this is a red one. And it's supposed to be a bigger fruit on this one. It was air layered. Can you say that name? The Latin this name? This is Jizium Sam. This is a fruit well, you're never going to see in the grocery I've store. I've never heard of that. It makes Family. like a red bell pepper shaped kind of fruit. And I think we'll have fruit before we know it. So, let's go over here. I'm just doing this. This is a papaya we grew from seed. This is less than a year old. We're already starting to get papayas on here. It might be like 13 months old now. This is the Relinia tree. We did a video actually tasting one of these. And then I wanted to get trees, so we got some trees too. And these things are beautiful. It's in the Anoa family. Uh, I think they make pretty big trees. So we'll see how that goes. Let's go around the other side. So we got a sugar apple here. It's just a seedling. We got a lemon drop mango seed. These are such pr pretty trees. Like the new growth on these. It's in the uh, Garcinia family. Garcinia intermedia. Yeah, we got a lot of these from Echo. And the other nursery we went to was Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah, Jack and the Beanstalk nursery. Was that in West Palm Beach? Mm hmm. Oh, Avocado really cool. Boulevard. Another one? Yeah. And then this was. Let me see this one. And we got the v Venus mango. So this is a mango that's known for having like a. It's not a brown spot or a black spot, it's like a grayish spot, which is normal. That's how the mango ripens. It's supposed to be a pretty tasty mango. It's supposed to be very productive. So I want to get that one. And then we got the carry. And this is like a classic Florida mango. This is supposed to be like one of the most common ones grown in Florida. I've heard a lot of good things about the taste of this mango. Just like a real good classic mango. Real sweet. It's supposed to be fibreless, creamy. So. Alright, this the one's long really end. cool. What? You forgot the long end. We'll get to the long one. Okay. We're getting over here though. We got this uh, white sapote, but it's a named variety. It's the Densler. Casamora edulis. And we have, way over there, we have a white sapote that's Casamora tetrameria, which is the woolly leaf white sapote. I think the fruit are kind of different, but I'm really excited about this. This is supposed to be like a pretty prolific tree. And over here we got.
This is the BUQ Longin. I got this over at Echo. If you've had Longins before, they're quite the treat. But this is a named variety. It's supposed to be a really tasty one and it's supposed to do well out in Florida. So I wanted to give this one a go. We have some Longin seed to be sprouted actually. Hopefully, I'll have. I'll build a graft onto those and then we'll have long ones available in the future. I'm show them the guys. I've got them mowing the front yard for us. Oh, this is cool. This looks like it needs water or something now. This is the Noni. And also known as the cheese vomit fruit, <laughs> I think. It's supposed to taste kind of interesting. We need to water this one. But I think that the leaves are actually edible and the roots on this one. But a lot of people just eat the fruit that comes off it. And it's actually like medicinal. Like it's in a lot of health food supplements. That's the noni. Oh, this one I'm really excited for. This is kind of like a new one for me. I haven't seen this around. There's not too much information on this. It's the, I've seen it go by Araza or Araza Boy. Uh, the Latin name there is Eugenia stipicata, and this makes like a really stipicata. Yeah, I might be butchering these names, but look at the growth on this thing. The new growth is like kind of reminds me of the Java with the red leaves. Java Java. Yeah, but it's a beautiful tree. I think it had flowers on it too, didn't it? It did have some flowers. It may have fallen off. They s they told us this would flower pretty fast and make fruit, but it makes like a big yellow. Pretty good sized fruit in the mango steam family, so. And then we got some moringa here. We have actually got a few different varieties of moringa. This isn't the one we got from Jack and Beanstalk though. Yeah, that is. All right, so this is the really cool one that they bred themselves. It's supposed to have more medicinal benefits than the traditional moringa, but also grows faster. So that's pretty cool to have. This one we got from Echo. That's the regular moringa over there. It's all good though. And that stuff can grow in a small pot for a long time. It's kind of crazy. This is three trees, right? Yeah. Alright, so this one's really exciting too. The names on this just kind of get you. So it's another mango here. This is the orange sherbet. And it's supposed to be one of like the best tasting orange flavored citrusy mangoes. So, really excited about that. I love the mangoes. I feel like we can't have enough of those. Good to share too. Look, these chickens are all the way over here. I've never seen them this far over. Oh. Look at that food, huh? So we got the achacharu, achachairu. I hear it called the cha cha a lot. Garcinia humilis. But this tree is gonna take a long time to fruit. I've heard people say they take like ten years but they make supposedly a really delicious fruit. I haven't tried them yet, but this one, we need to keep in like a, I think a little bit of shade too. We had it out in more sun and it looks like the leaves got sunburned. It's pretty shady over here. Well, yeah, but this was out in the front before. I had it way up there. Yeah. And that's when I got the uh, burnt leaves that looked like. So this one's a beautiful tree. This is another rare one for me that I didn't really know much about. This is the Santal. You know the Latin name? Santal. I don't even know what this it's is. Tall. Santorium. I've never heard of this I don't even know what family either. that is. But that's the Santal. It looks similar to the um, Araza Boy. It's supposed to make a. It's like not as bright yellow of a fruit. I see a lot of people use this in cooking. I guess the rind is the big part you eat. So it seems interesting. If it'll grow here. This one's really. Um, cold sensitive so we're gonna have to we might even keep it in a pot for a while before we have a permanent spot for it south wall or something so this is another alinea and this one's here is real exciting because we've got tons of flowers on this one i'm gonna show them these flowers so relinea deliciosa or um bariba Berivia is the other name it's going by but yeah this one's what is that, a five gallon pot, seven gallon pot there? That's like a seven gallon? I don't know, gallon. I think it's a five. But look at these flowers, they're getting even on the lower branches. So they're starting to make more flowers, it looks like. 
Uh -huh. So it's starting to flower at a pretty young age, it looks like. And we did a video trying one of these. This is the, uh, the Linea Deliciosa. We'll put a little thing to the video. But we got some more fruit trees in the back. Mm -hmm. Another achata. Uh -huh. So this is another achata here. And I put this one way under the banana because I had this in full sun. Oh, this was the sunburnt one. This one got pretty bad, yeah. I moved them both after, but this one was in more sun. But it seems to be doing fine. These are supposedly an understory tree, but some people say once they get bigger, they like full sun. So I'm still learning about this. If you know about this tree, let me know in the comments. It's supposed to be like one of the, uh, it came out of Bolivia. And a lot of people claim it's their favorite fruit, so. And this one's supposed to ship well too, which is kind of cool. I think that's like a good thing. And this is our rack of bananas. It's finally starting to uh, make bananas. This is our first rack. And check that out. You see the the nectar? Get that nectar. <laughs> it kind of is like honey. Yeah. Maybe not as um thick, but very sweet. Yeah, and this was this was one we bought. We were told it was a dwarf cabinet, but I don't think it was. I think it's too tall. Yeah, I think a lot of bananas get mislabeled Stand next to it. at nurseries. It's, it's up on the roof. He's 6'4", and this is like... And all we did with this one is we just let the chickens pretty much buy it. Like, we didn't really fertilize it too much. A little bit of mulch. Yeah, there's mulch around it, but... I mean, these ones did great here. I think being in the... Closed off in the walls kept a lot of the wind out, so they got to have all their leaves. What else do we put on this banana? Everything. Compost. We got a miracle berry over here. Full shade, pretty much. But it's starting to push out little berries. Really? That's what they were saying. Good flowers already. This is supposed to be just like a really slow growing. But they make those berries that make sour stuff taste sweet. Little tiny red berries, you eat them. Let them sit in your mouth for a little bit, and I guess everything sour tastes sweet after that. It's actually black, so that's pretty cool. What's this? The East Timor Black Bamboo. Bamboo that's actually black. It's supposed to be edible. I don't know if it's usable for construction, but it's a... Uh, I think it's a slow growing bamboo. And our cow just munched on it. Yeah, we found it out. She was out. And she's over here. She's just going, going to town this bamboo. I'm going to put these here as a windbreak and also just to have bamboo on the property. I think it would be useful for like trellises and stuff. But this is the uh, Chungai bamboo and it's supposed to, when it gets a little older, it gets like a bluish hue to it. Here's the tag. the bamboo. They're both edible, but you gotta cook them real well to eat them, eat the new shoots. I don't know too much about that, so. Supposedly they're a lot easier to grow. So that's it. Thanks for plants. watching.